Would you believe me if I told you that I finished this whole bag of chips? Hello ladies and gents, Ro here, and it is, I'm at class, well not root right now, I just finished eating lunch, and no, I did not finish that whole bag of chips. Um, the thing is, my teacher, I don't, I don't get her, she's very interesting, she's weird, and I don't know, my political science teacher. <laughs> <clears throat> well, the thing is, previously, my teacher, she was, like, uh, named a vlog called Racist Teacher, and uh, she would, uh, she like, during class, I don't know what we were talking about or what we were discussing in the government area, <clears throat> she asks everybody, well, she's like, raise your hand if you are white. And then we're like, okay. I, at that point, I was, like, a little confused, but this time around, though, like, today, as a matter of fact, um, I was, we were sitting in class, we were discussing how, what are the qualifications in order to become a president. And uh, you, you gotta be 35 years or older, you have to be a citizen of the United States, you have, you have to be a, born in the United States. And then um, there were like informal qualifications or something, like other qualifications, like you have to have experience in political and politics. Then you gotta, you have like at least a college, some kind of a college degree, and you gotta be, yeah, educated. You gotta be able to think for yourself. You're, you gotta be responsible and all, like all these characteristics. And then one of them she began talking about was uh, you have to be like clean from drugs. Like you can't be an alcoholic. You can't be a drug addict either. You have to in order to become a president. So she's like, all of a sudden, from from that point on, she's all, so raise your hand, how many of you uh, do pot around here? And then <laughs> the classroom just goes quiet. And she's like, come on, don't be shy, it's not like I'm a cop or anything. I know most of you probably do. So, okay, a few guys, okay, raise their hands. I, I'm not, I don't do pot, if you're wondering. I do not smoke pot or weed or marijuana or any kind of drugs. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, now that I got that over with. Um, so yeah, some of these guys raise up their hands, and I'm just looking. I'm like, wow, what kind of a question is that? How does that even relate to what we're learning right now? So she's like, and then she goes on to say, oh yeah, yeah. You see, like I have a friend. She's all, I have a friend who told me that whenever she drinks, well, like drinks alcohol. It helps her think better and she can write a whole essay. She can get all her homework done within that time period when she's drunk. I'm like, your friend must be lying. There's no way you can think straight in order to write a full essay. Because, if is that true? I might have to try that. No, I'm, I'm just joking. <laughs> no, I would not try that. But, yeah, and then she also goes on to say that, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I have friends who do drugs in college right now, and they're they're just doing it. It's like normal part of life. And then she she states it. She never said that she was for or against all this drug stuff, but she said she never said it was bad either. So I, the way she was talking about it made it sound like to her it was totally fine. Heck, all, all those kids in there could have been that raised their hand could have been smoking in class as she's doing her lecture and she probably wouldn't have cared yeah that's I, I, I like I said my teacher is weird the funny thing is I, I kind of do like my teacher she's she teaches government the the aspects of government and how the, the supreme courts the three branches the residency very well she like gives very good analogies and actually gets into my head it doesn't go in and then it doesn't and then it comes out it actually sticks in my head like I like I kind of I mostly remember everything that she talked about in the lecture because she she gave video she gave a uh, very good lecture and I took notes which is a very rare thing overall my teacher is pretty good yeah so I think that's it I gotta go and do can't count count counselor counselor meeting I have got yeah I have a counselor meeting if that makes any sense at all so yeah I'll catch you guys tomorrow and here's your question for today
I can't really think of one top of my mind, but I'll give you a random one. Let's say you're amongst a lot of people, and you're having a conversation, and all of a sudden it gets quiet. What would you do in order to break the silence? Catch you guys tomorrow. Later.